people suffer from depression, peer pressure, bullying, and many other things. And most of the time when this isn't dealt with properly, it ends with police outside your door and ambulance trying to save you. Yes, we're talking about this. That isn't the only form of killing oneself. You, a family member, or an important might be sick with an incurable disease or cancer. And every day, you're suffering from pain everywhere. Sudden seizures and other side effects of your medication or illness. You can't take it anymore. The doctors all say you can't like, live much longer and your pain increases every, each day. What's the point? So you inject something into yourself and stop breathing. This is called assisting. So today we're going to be interviewing a man who survived attempted suicide. Please introduce yourself. My name is Chris. I am 15 years old and I am from Richmond Green. Okay, so I understand that you were bullied, correct? And you were led to suicide. How did this become suicide? It's true. Yes, I was bullied. But it wasn't just any ordinary bullying. I was, I felt sad. People call me wimp. I was a loser. I felt left out. So today we're going to be interviewing Madame Cohen. Um, so Madame Cohen, what do you think about the topic of suicide? But it seems to be very um, hard to say that you're hurting inside of you. I also think that in some ways um, that suicide is selfish in a way because I think that people are incapable of really seeing the effect of what they're doing to other people, um, their family, their friends, people who really, really do love them deeply. So I, I'm really torn between that deep, deep sorrow that I feel for people and the disaction. So we also have another topic. And um, what do you, what are your thoughts on assisted suicide? Um, assisted suicide, I think. Um, I have very, very different feelings about it. I, I recognize that it, it touches a little bit more on the subject of euthanasia. Um, I guess I can't say that I'm fundamentally opposed to assisted suicide for people who have a terminal illness, people who have certain types of incurable cancers or other diseases that um, would basically um, have them die in an extremely painful way. The World Health Organization, also known as the WHO, has pronounced that in one year over 800,000 people commit suicide because of various reasons all over the world. So meaning that almost every 40 seconds, one person kills himself or herself. 